My favorite subject was uh, history. I loved that when I was in uh, Louisiana. When I was in, my favorite subject is still history, but also I love English literature. Not the composition now. No, I hate to write. But the English literature. And I remember when I was at St. Thomas, which is a parochial school, and uh, we had this nun, Sister DeSalle, and she was the principal and she was also the teacher of the eighth grade because that was the highest grade she went to. And when she did English literature, I loved it. And that's what made me fall in love with English literature. Yeah, so I... Uh, Do you remember uh, what you read? Do you well, remember what you read in that class? What did you read? Macbeth. Hamlet. This was in the eighth grade. Uh, Macbeth, I especially like that. And I think the reason I like uh, English literature so much with her, because it was like she, she was acting. She would go from one character to the other. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. her voice, she would change it and everything. Uh, because I've never seen anyone do that before. So I kind of fell in love with that. So was Sister Jaisal your favorite teacher? Um, no, she wasn't my favorite, but she was one of my favorite teachers. Who was your favorite? Oh, God. There were so many. I, I really couldn't, you know, pinpoint it. But she was one of my favorites. <coughs> and because um, you went to a St. Thomas, Am I right to assume you're Catholic? Yes. Okay. Did you participate in any school activities or sports? <coughs> I wasn't too much of a sports person, but when you were in school, you had to take PE. So, I played volleyball and basketball, but I was not good. And uh, what else did we play? Basketball, volleyball, oh, softball. Those three things we played. What high school did you attend? I went to Bishop Connedy, which is called now Bishop Connedy, Our Lady of Lourdes, or Loretta, excuse me, Our Lady of Loretta and Bishop Connedy, because the last time they had the, uh, was it, the, uh, when was it? We had a big earthquake not too long ago. When I say not too long ago, I'm talking about 10 years Northridge? ago. Northridge? Yeah. 94? Right. The, um, Our Lady of Loretta was messed up so bad until they couldn't rebuild it. So they rebuilt Connedy, which was called Bishop Connedy. And since they rebuilt it and they made it Bishop Connedy slash Our Lady of Loretta. Was Bishop Connedy, or is it a co-ed, or is it an all-girl? It's an all-girl school. Mm -hmm. Did you like attending an all-girl school? Yeah, it, it was okay. The only thing is it makes you uh, I guess shock around the opposite sex. I went to all-girls high school, and I, I still don't know how to talk to them. Yeah, it makes you very... Uh, Inhibit. Inhibited, yes. Yeah. Most definitely. You don't have a flirt, for sure. <laughs> I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> I've all these years. Did you like school? Yeah. yeah. Did you have a special hangout that you and your friends hung out at afterwards? Like a soda shop or someone's house or a record store? Well, we usually gathered at different homes, not at any one particular home, different homes. And did you graduate in 63? Graduated in 63, yes. In 1963. So you saw, you know, in your formative high school years, uh, you know, that was the civil rights movement. Right. What was that? Like, I think, it, <clears throat> back in 1959, I think, was when uh, I remember we were in class 
the great, and that's when Cuba got invaded, when uh, Castro came into Cuba, and we discussed that in school. And civil rights was also starting uh, when the buses were going down south. In fact, I think it may have started a little bit after 59. Mm -hmm. The Mississippi 60. Freedom Rides? Yeah. I think they're... Uh, 60, 61. 61, mm -hmm. yeah. I do remember seeing that on TV and thinking to myself, oh my goodness. But now I realize that what they did was for everyone, you know. But at that time, I just thought, oh my goodness, how could they go through all of this? Because I didn't understand, you know, because I had, even though I'm from the South, I had never run into segregation. I know people say that they have, but I haven't. And when I tell people that, they tell me, no, that can't be true, but it is. I'd never, maybe I was just blind, I don't know, but I'd never run into it. No, I, I you know, I, when I interviewed uh, Tom and Telly, they're an interracial couple, mm -hmm. they told me they hadn't had one single moment of harassment for being a, an interracial couple. I think there are definitely are moments that are, you know, not about or lifetimes that are not about that, right. you know, and it's important to talk about that too. So with the, the area that you grew up in, you would de define it as diverse or homogenous or, you know, was there a lot of different types of people there? I think it was diverse because um, I'm just thinking where we lived, the different places we lived, it wasn't... Uh, Predominantly anything it was a predominantly African American, predominantly Hispanic, predominantly Caucasian. It was just a mixture of everything, you know, or we may say diverse, but it was not predominantly anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I think that's a, a really common way, a common characteristic of Los Angeles mm -hmm. in the 50s, particularly, because in later and before it's much more segregated. Mm -hmm. Um, what did you wear to school? Did they have a uniform? We had uniforms. Uniform from the first through the twelfth grade. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 